someone has done something to her and I'm trying to understand who it could be and why. Tonight, friends and family of 40-year-old Anna Maria Nesevich are desperate to know where she is. The Florida resident was last seen on February 2nd at an apartment she was renting in Madrid. She is just so caring. She is so sweet. She is just so soft. She is funny. She is smart. She's uh, adventurous. Nesevich moved to Spain in December amid a difficult separation from her husband, David, according to her friend, Sana Ramo, who says she texted Nesevich the day she was last seen, but didn't hear back. But the next day, she got what she called strange messages saying, I met someone wonderful. He has a summer house about two hours from Madrid. I will spend a few days there. Signal is spotty. Adding, he approached me on the street. Amazing connection. I tried to respond saying that I got worried about her, like it didn't sound safe, like what is she talking about, like this this makes no sense. And my messages didn't go through. A las ocho y media de la noche estaba en su casa. Joaquin Emils Bonet is president of an entirely volunteer-run missing persons organization in Spain and acting as a spokesperson for the family. He says that at 8.30 p.m. on February 2nd, Nesevich spoke on the phone with a friend for about an hour and didn't have plans to go out. At about 1 a.m., a neighbor across the street saw lights on in her apartment. Emils Bonet says that at some point on February 2nd, a neighbor saw that the security cameras in her building had been painted black. Por lo tanto, Emils Bonet warns not to jump to conclusions, saying we don't know the time the cameras were painted, and we also don't know if it was just a random act of vandalism. But friends of Nesevich are quick to bring up the couple's contentious separation, specifically the joint financial interests. NBC News found three corporations registered under the couple's names in Florida. EOX Technology Solutions Incorporated, Registered Corporate Agents, LLC, and EOX Capital, LLC. Nesevich's brother telling the Fort Lauderdale police her husband David is quote not happy about the amount of money that needs to be split. Ken Padowitz, a defense attorney hired by David Nesevich, telling us the divorce proceedings hadn't officially started and that his client is cooperating with authorities. We obviously hope like everyone else that she's found and she's okay. Uh, but 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 David has nothing to do with this. He was in another country uh, at the time that that she disappeared in Spain. Just to be clear, he's been in Serbia that that entire span of time since before February. Correct. He's been in Serbia prior to his wife ever gone, uh, gone missing in, in Spain. And Stephen Romo joins us now. Stephen, this is a complicated case with so many questions still, but has the State Department weighed in at all? Yeah, the State Department did uh, answer us today saying that they're involved in any missing persons case involving an American who's lost abroad. They didn't give us any specific information about this case. But that missing persons organization we spoke to in the piece, they did tell us this story is all over the media in Spain. But getting information from police in Madrid has been difficult. He says they've just not been very forthcoming. So there are so many questions left in this case, Allison. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.